so we completed uh, functions of various synchronization details now in this presentation we would like to so this is the functions of vertical pulse so functions of vertical pulse so hi so this scans sequence details so majority times asked in end examination so at this time for end examination we expecting question from scanning sequence and details so by vertical sync pulse just by providing pre and post equalization pulses so these are the requirements necessary for successful interlaced scanning just to ensure the details so let me recollect fastly so let me recollect fastly all details so number one is uh, as we know that suitable field sync pulse derived from triggering the field oscillator that is the first field synchronization pulse second so the line oscillator continues to receive triggering pulse at correct intervals so while the process of initiation and completion of this field time very important uh, to recall all this uh, scan line pulses third one so it become possible to insert vertical sync pulse so at the end of the line after the second field so the middle of this line at the end of first field without causing the interlaced error so automatically just that can be vanish out so as we know that from synchronous pulse details so this slide belongs complete pulse train for both the fields incorporating equalizing pulses shown in this figure the complete chart gives the line numbers and the pulse designation that shows in below the first field the first field that equal to odd field what are the how many numbers just recall how many numbers for this first field so the line number 1 to 312.5 so that is 313 line half
so that is the first line for first and second third lines vertical synchronization pulses so for end examination try to remember all this numericals so for first three just 2.5 lines so vertical synchronization pulses for third four five so we have post for 2.5 so third line fourth line fifth line so we have 2.5 post vertical synchronization pulses required for scanning this particular equalizing pulses So similarly for sixth sixth to seventeenth line for sixth to seventeen point five so we nomenclature as blanking the retracing the pulses. So that is called blank period just to retrace the pulses to scan their successive rate. So just 12.5 lines. So 17.5 to 310.5. So that should require 292.5 picture details. 292.5 picture details so line number 311 312 313 so we have 2.5 line system so the pre vertical synchronization equalization pulses so are required for the second field generation so therefore total number of lines indicated here 312.5 so that 312.5 lines here approximately called them pre vertical synchronization equalization pulses for the second field so dear student calculate all these lines so you can get total number of lines 312.5 so now first set completed so let me move on second set so for second set the field called second field so second set the field called second field so that is even field so students identify the field line numbers where our first field starts so 312.5 to so there are remaining 312.5 lines totally to cover 625 so 313 the 312 314 315 they are same like 2.5 line system allotted for vertical synchronization pulses so for line number 316, 317, 318, they allotted for 2.5 line system post vertical synchronization equalizing pulses. So 318, 330. 
so we have 12.5 so blanking retrace pulses require comes to the next number 318 330 so 12.5 line system just for retracing this pulse that is blanking pulse so 331 so 623 so we have 292 so that is for picture details. The 623, 624, 625. So those are for 2.5 line system. So pre-vertical sync equalization pulses for the first field. So total number of lines, total number of lines allotted here. So that equals to total 625. So 312.5 and 312.5 so totally so in this way the scanning sequence details so in this way scan details are uh, created So that is the end of second field. So that is the end of second field. So we have 2.5 lines. So 2.5 lines allotted for pre-equalization pulses. Another 2.5 lines allotted for vertical synchronization pulses. So just post-equalization pulses are allotted for 2.5 line system. So pre-equalization, Vertical sync pulses and post equalizations are allotted for 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. Just extra 12.5 line system. So extra 12.5 line system is allotted for blank line on the retrace time interval. So, dear students, try to remember the numericals for end examination. So at this time, we are expecting the question from field synchronization pulse train at the end of examination. In similar manner, now we wanted to represent a pulse train at the end of first field. Pulse train at the end of first field. Just remember, so there is 309, 310. So what are these 309, 310 are at the end of first field. So don't forget at the end of first field. So these are represented the jigjog fashion. So therefore there is no data reproduction at 309, 310. For 311, 312, 313 we are having narrow equalization pulses we are having narrow equalization pulses for later three lines we require five broad field synchronization pulses and five narrow equalization pulses are required for this equalization pulses so the blanking levels blanking levels are very important so to notice this
blanking level signals. So this blanking level signals require 316, 317, 318. So at the end of first field, so we have 309, 310, likewise. So 311, 312, 313 allotted for five narrow equalization pulses. Similarly, for five broad field synchronization pulses. So later we have 12.5 blanking lines, 12.5 blanking lines. So that 12.5 blanking lines allotted here, just for 12.5 blanking lines, 318, 319, 320, 321, 322, 323, 324, 325, 326, 327, 328, 329, 330. So this 12.5, count 12.5. So rest of 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, allotted for pre, vertical, post. So this is very narrow synchronization, equalization pulses. So this figure, very important for index domination point of view. So at this time, this is the figure indicate both narrow equalization pulses broad equalization pulses both uh, pre post and uh, blanking line pulses so hybrid diagram so which shows all this chapter information cumulatively in this figure waveforms so dear students this five narrow equalization pulses apart from this post equalization pulses are required to satisfy the broad field synchronization pulse. So thereafter, which is able to... So for each successive time intervals, so we, we require this complete pulse train for both fields, incorporating the equalization pulses. So this complete chart, giving line numbers and pulse designations in complete manner for our upcoming examinations. So during this scanning levels, here the term, So deflection circuitry, so the term is deflection circuit. So the vertical synchronization pulse forces this deflection circuitry to start this flyback. So you are familiar about flyback, a short pulse that is able to for blanking level so however this flyback generally doesn't begin with the start of vertical synchronization because the sync pulse must build minimum voltage across the capacitor to trigger the scanning oscillator so this is the reason why we require
So just it is uh, represent, it is assumed that so the vertical flyback starts with this leading edge pulse. So it is assumed that vertical sync pulse added also five equalization pulses occur before this vertical synchronization pulse just you start them quickly to retrieve the data from these four lines so why because this four lines why this four lines comes in the screen comes on the screen 2.5 plus 1.4 5 just 4 addition 2.5 1.5 4 so these four brankings are at the bottom of the picture before the vertical retrace begins. So a typical vertical retrace is a typical vertical retrace time just for five lines. Therefore the remaining lines 20 minus 9, 11 lines are blanked at the top of the raster. So these lines provide the sweep oscillator enough time to adjust linear rise for uniform pickup and reproduction of the picture. So this is the approximated line numbers allocated with us. So just by inserting the vertical synchronization pulse and providing pre and post equalization pulse, so the basic requirements don't forget these are the basic requirements just we wanted to mention in end examination so what is the first basic point so the field sync pulse derived from triggering the field oscillator only second so the line oscillator continues to receive the triggering pulse at correct intervals so it become very possible to insert this vertical sync pulse at the end of the line after the first field and at the end of the middle line, so the second field without causing the interlacing the error. So the vertical sync build up at receiver that is has very small rapid time. So this is the vertical, very popular slide. Don't forget for our end examination. Just this slide belongs to 525 line system. So remember guys, these numericals while writing and end examination. So the details of horizontal blanking pulses. So the period, so the period that equal to field lines, so we are having 63.5 so 63.5 microseconds time period required for this field line horizontal blanking period yeah. 9.5 to 11.5 Horizontal sync pulse 4.75 to 0 0.5. Front port so 1.6. Back port 3.8 minimum. Visible line 52 to 54. So that is visible line period, visible line period 52 to 54. The details of vertical blank pulse and details of vertical blanking pulse. Total field period, total field period. So 1 by 60 seconds, just 1.16.7 milliseconds. 
so these are the numerical fixed numerical for our tv syllabus for horizontal blanking and for vertical blanking for vertical blanking total period 16.7 millisecond visible field time 16 millisecond vertical blanking 0.8 to 1.3 millisecond total duration of this six vertical sync pulse 190.5 microsecond each settling pulse 31.75 so dear students so as we know that we have got sync details of this line system now we have fundamental idea brief idea about tv engineering all this video lectures now we move a step forward regarding color signal generation and encoding this color signal generation encoding very important for our color tv system color signal generation and encoding so this color tv system is the same for monochrome except color information in the scene that is used so since any colors in additive mix since any colors are in additive mix generally we have atmospheric general colors red green blue so this picture information is considered in terms of these colors so when the image of any picture is scanned by color camera separated by this video signals that are developed for these colors so in order to maintain compatibility between monochrome and color so the popular outputs that are red green blue or we want to combine this suitable way to form two equivalent colors so brightness and color so this color is called chroma simply called chrominance so in our color tv signals color brightness very important words so brightness signal is called luminance just simply it is represented by y whereas chroma is represented by c so both c signal and y signal in upcoming classes very important to note down the picture so these color voltages are used to reproduce the televised picture on the picture tube screen so therefore the process of encoding this and the transmitting at the end of described in this upcoming classes very very interesting and so in next upcoming class 
we are able to how to understand this perception of brightness colors and we have one more topic additive color mixing and video signals for colors so dear guys in rest of video lectures we are able to watch continuation of this sync details thank you one and all signing off keep home be safe thank you